So some of you know what I'm talking about because you saw me post about it on my Instagram or on my Facebook. But I wanted to share this with my subscribers who don't have Instagram or Facebook. And I'm going to read what happened and also ask your opinions. I would like you guys to comment about your opinion. So I was recently sent this article and this white man states online that he feels bad that he slept with so many women, but yet not one single one of these women was black. He then states, what does that say about me? Am I racist? I don't think so. He then states that he would like to overcome racism and be part of the Black Lives Matter movement and help out the cause and bring attention to the plight of black women. Sounds good so far, right? He then states, Black Lives Matter. And to show that, I'm going to have sex with 1,000 black women in 1,000 days as I bring world attention to the importance of black women. So at that point, when I read that, I was like, what the fuck? He then proceeds to say, he will need to change up his game for black women as black women are a different breed. He then states, I'm going to do my part to help the helpless. So I took a deep breath and I literally read that article with one eyebrow raised really, really high. He talks about black women being a different breed as though he sees them as animals or a completely different species or not even human. The fact that he feels that by sleeping with black women, he'll somehow prove that black lives and black women matter clearly shows that he only sees black women as being good enough to have sex with and nothing more. His very statement and intentions actually prove that he does not believe that black lives matter and that black women do not matter to him at all. He'll actually be achieving the complete opposite of what he claims to be trying to do. His whole agenda purposely perpetuates the devaluation of black women. The most disgusting part of this article wasn't the stereotypical chauvinistic misogynoir views coming from this clearly racist white man wishing to explore a fetish and quench some desire to have sex with as many black women as possible and some egotistical attempt at being rewarded and praised in the process or some really warped idea of how he's going to become famous. No, that wasn't even the most disgusting part of this article. The most unbelievable part was the comments coming from black men, spurring him on and telling him that this will be a really, really easy task. Do we as black men, mixed, biracial, and Afro-Latinos included, have such little value and respect for our queens that we will allow a man to completely disrespect our women like this and actually pat him on the back for it? Now, when I say our women, I don't mean this in a term of possession at all. As men, we do not own women. I merely mean it as women of our culture, race, society, you know, families, etc., etc. When I see a woman of my race, my culture or background being disrespected, I see this in the exact same way as someone trying to violate my sister, my mother, or my woman. When are we as black men going to finally stand up for our women and protect them? This is so reminiscent to slavery when the master would take our women and rape them in front of our eyes and we were left helpless and unable to help out of fear of being killed. Well, what's our excuse now? Are we all too cowardly now? Or do we enjoy the power of watching our women being abused? Is that what it is? How can you call yourselves men? None of the men who would support this are men at all. They're, they're nothing but disgrace. This is completely racist and disrespectful towards black women and totally makes a mockery of the Black Lives Matter and Black Women Matter campaigns. I can't believe that he would use a movement that is trying to help the oppressed to justify his fetish. This entire article literally states, black women are worthless and do not matter. Now, someone said to me, Angel, but what if this is a hoax? What if it's satire? That's besides the point. Look at what's actually going on. Look at the reactions from the black men, because these reactions are from people that are not assuming that maybe it's false or they don't know if it's definitely true. These are the reactions. This is how they feel. This is them assuming that this is 100% true. And this is their reactions. But like I said, the bigger problem wasn't what this white man was saying, but it was the reaction from black men spurring him on. Why are we like this? Why do we have such little regard for black women? Why? Why are they so devalued? Why do we allow these things to happen? That's what my question is. Peace, love, and coconut oil. Hey, man, that's racist. 
Please remember that from now on, brand new never before seen videos, as well as live streams, will only be available on my website, ikyg.com, via a Patreon subscription. IKYG.com is a black-owned, black-ran platform, 100% free from censorship. It's the only place where we don't have to worry about what we say and expressing ourselves. Make sure you check out the description and the comment section for important links, as well as information in video form that shows you what benefits you get when you support the site and join my Patreon. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, then don't forget to subscribe and be notified every time I upload a video. For exclusive content and perks, check out my Patreon. This is where we have private live streams, group chats, live Q&As, live phone calls, and open topics. This is a safe space where you can interact with other like-minded people, make friends, send each other direct private messages, and so much more without any trolls. And yes, you get to use GIFs and images in the live chats. So what are you waiting for? This is a completely independent website, free from censorship. If you'd like to make a donation towards the site so we can continue to put out the truth without fear of being silenced, then please hit that donation button. It's greatly appreciated. Check out the rest of the site for videos, private and public live streams, find out all the tea, and make sure to utilize the black money section of the website. Advertise your business absolutely free to people that look like you, free, forever. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at angel underscore IKYG.